Hi, everybody. It's Susan. I just got out of the dentist, so I am not talking so well. But that's okay, because I want to show you how pretty the garden looks today. I'm outside putting compost in, and it's March 2nd. So let's see what March 2nd looks like in Salinas, California. Our um, apricot tree is attempting to bud, as you can see. So we should, hopefully should have some apricots. I really pruned this back while my neighbor came over and helped as well. So we should have some on there this year. This really looks great. So that looks pretty. We have, what else is going on out here? I haven't really planted much in here yet. These are California poppies. <laughs> And I transplanted my Brussels sprouts over here. So I don't know what they're going to end up doing. But you can see some chard. And that's doing well. Mark likes chard. He loves it. So it's doing well. There's even a tomato plant in here still left over from good Lord knows how long ago. And it's still producing. See? There's some tom cherry tomatoes in there. That's from who knows how long ago. I, I didn't plant that recently. Back in here, we got some broccoli that's going to seed. And some more chard. And we have some radishes. And more broccoli. What else? More chard. My Cecile Broomer is doing well. I cut it way back, but it's still there, as I knew it would be. More chard. More beets, more radishes, and carrots. They take a long time to grow. And back in my little area over here, my plant that I kind of trailed up so that it would be able to look pretty on the fence. It's not looking super great, but, you know, it's just a wild plant. I didn't plant it. Back in here, we have a little bit of beets growing in there and some radishes and some carrots and stuff. It'll get a little sunnier here in a little bit in this area. Oh my look at my onions. They take absolutely forever to grow. And as we go. Got an area over here I'm planting. And more chard. I've got a whole bunch of cucumbers and squash and stuff planted. We'll see how they do. More California poppies, broccoli, some sunflowers, and I haven't planted the tomatoes yet, but they'll probably go in here, but you can see that the flowers have just kind of taken over this bed a lot. I've planted a few things, but you can see the freesias getting ready to grow. See, they're going to be yellow. Uh, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I talk about freesias a lot, that you plant them in many colors, and then they end up becoming yellow because that's the the um, dominant dominant color for freesias. They all turn yellow eventually. My hydrangea is blooming. My orange trees still there. Look at the poppies. California poppies are everywhere. See them? Lots of succulents. This is a couple hyacinths. They smell amazing. And I'm not sure what the yellow is. It's um the two yellow. Look at the little bee. Hello, little busy bee. What are you doing today? Getting your little pollen kick? Yeah. Nice. Good job. Go and do the rest of the garden. Back in here, I have planted for my compost some pots of stuff to get started. These are flowers. And back in here, there's um, cucumbers and squash and some tomatoes that are volunteers. But I planted from seeds, so we'll see if anything's gonna come up. I also did a couple, oh, here's a lima bean. I love lima beans, but I've never been able to get them grow. So this is compost from my garden that I've just put in pots. See if I can get anything to grow, but we'll see. It's been raining, 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 raining for days. And now we have a couple, we should have about four days of sunshine. Here's the plum tree, look at the, uh, Look at that. Look at them go. Geraniums. And what's going on back here? 
I love this. I'm not sure what that is, but it's a succulent of some kind. It's just so gorgeous. Back in the quieter area here. I haven't really spent a lot of time with this area, but you can see I've got some succulents going. Um, this is I think called jade. This is jade, right? Yeah. And freesias are growing in here. Oh, what's that? Is that a yellow hyacinth? Yeah. Oh, look at that. It smells so good. I can smell it from here. Maybe I'll end up picking that. I like I don't like to pick plants because they're so pretty and I like to just let them keep growing. But if they're off in their own little world where you can't see them very well, there's no reason why not. This is a plant mark found alongside the road. It was already growing like this. Somebody just had abandoned it. Look at this. And so he says, can you do something with this? And I just came home and put it in a pot and leaned it against the fence. It's doing well. What else? I kind of guess that's it. Let's see. I'm feeling kind of groggy today. Mark, I just got out of the dentist and he says, oh my gosh, you're so pale. And I said, how can you tell? I'm always pale. <laughs> oh, here's a compost if you guys want to see it. So those who want to know about composting, you can look. But if you don't, if you get grossed out by a lot of stuff, like uh, trash-like stuff, then you don't want to look at this one. I'm going to show you right now. I've turned this bin into a compost bin and you just dump your car, uh, kitchen garbage there. No, no rats, no mice, no rodents, no, no raccoons. Nobody comes here and bothers us. Once in a while you might see a, um, a bird on the top and they'll be like pecking out a little bit. But my gosh, down in there, you guys, it's covered in worms, lots of, lots of worms. I put my egg cartons and toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls and I rip them up small and I put them in there. You could put receipts and newspaper if you want to but I'm not doing anything formal with it. This is what I've been doing for a year or so and it is just the most amazing mulch and I don't even turn it. So I'll just put it in here and um, so you can see there's a hole. That's where I've dug it all out. That's already been like mulched and, and turned into gold, just black gold. And then, you, and then what will happen is this, and you have to make it really tall because it just keeps sinking down as it decomposes with the little wormies and stuff. This is a, a chrysanthemum right in there. It's a burgundy chrysanthemum. It's very pretty, but it, I would love it to grow really tall so that you can get those long stems of the chrysanthemums, but this variety is not that. So what I'll do is I'll just keep putting more and more stuff over the top of this, and eventually what I'll probably do is just put some dirt over the top of it, some soil, and then it, it'll just compost down. And then you just keep composting it. And if I want to, I can plant in here. I'll plant tomatoes, uh, probably, and they'll just love and enjoy all this goodness that's in here. It's so incredible. Here's a, a tomato still, <laughs> believe it or not, hanging on there. I will compost it too pretty soon. But this, this area right here, this small one that I was showing you earlier with the small flowers in it, it's a, um, it was a compost area for a very long time. Look at how that's doing. It's um, turning into just flowers, like I said, but it could eventually become, I mean, it, it, the soil is just it's rich and I'm not doing anything with it. It's just, it's just kitchen scraps and then some dirt and worms just find their way in there. And then the wormies come in and they eat it all and the little nutrients and it's just science and all that cool stuff and it breaks down is really wonderful. All of this, all of these areas are just kitchen scraps that have just been put in here mostly and um, your plants love it. I don't put anything that's meat related in there because it's it could attract rodents, but I don't, I don't have a problem with it. And everybody asks me if it smells. No, it smells like earth. And, um, you know, you could throw a layer of dirt on it if you wanted to, if you didn't like the way it looks. But I love it because it's just, you see these cantaloupes and and corn cobs and leaves from beets and, and chard and, and stuff like that. And it, it just turns into this black stuff. I, I don't know. If I had kids to raise again, 
If I had great grandkids, I would spend so much time out here doing science projects, breaking down composting, and it just tells you a lot about science and things. So anyway, my Johnny jump ups are doing really good. You can see them over here. I've got all kinds of little flowers. Colum these are columbine. That's columbine and Johnny jump ups there. They're just wild. And these are poppies. I didn't plant them. They just came in. Some of this other stuff I did plant, but it'll listen. And I hope you guys have a great day.